Okay guys, welcome again once again to the channel man with your boy B24 Gaming. Um well as you can see, Snow Runner. Right? So that's uh we're gonna do a let's play series on Snow Runner. But not just any ordinary let's play series, guys. We're gonna do hard mode. We're gonna test our driving skills, which is um a serious test. <laughs> Nothing to take lightly. <laughs> So yeah guys, so without further ado and whatnot, uh we're gonna embark on this uh mission slash journey. We're gonna we're gonna as far as we could go with it, you know, once until you know epic fail then after, you know. Once you can't, you know, salvage anything from it. But hopefully, you know, we make it to current phase four and if not whatever, you know, phase come out later down in the future. But as for now guys, you know. This is where we're gonna start our journey, man. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into it, man. So we're going new, new game, and of course, hard mode. So this is the rules that we have to play by in hard mode, guys. We have to, uh, you have to pay for your fuel and repairs. You have to pay for your vehicle deployment. You have to pay for your vehicle recovery. You have to pay every time you load cargo automatically. You are not able to sell uh, your trailers and semis. Uh, you sell your trucks and equipment for half price. Uh, contests are restricted in the number of tries you make. You have to search for the facilities with the cargo you need by yourself. So guys, that is the rules we're playing with. And without further ado, let's get into it. Boom! So... This is where we are guys right now we're starting off in the garage usually on the regular normal playthrough we'll start off at a starting point on the other end of the map but this is on hard mode so they decide to you know shake things up a little bit man so without further ado guys let's uh press triangle so as you can see we have the cooler peninsula the yukon we have wisconsin and amur which is phase four right so without further ado guys you know we have 8850 in our name and we're on level 2. So, might as well leave the garage and crack, get cackalacking on this map. So, we have our trailers here. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, you know, pass and discover them. So, you know, new trailer, service. What we have here new slash new trailer again nice and we have um our fleet star which is my favorite truck for this whole entire black river adventure so what i'm gonna do right just to, you know get some form of mobility before we even embark on any crazy adventure what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring the uh, GMC down this way so that um, you know we could we could have more than you know one truck to operate you know we could be a little more because with hard mode we need to be a little bit strategic you understand so you know the more trucks with the more variety I say we could get stuff done and um, yeah so what I'm gonna do, I'm just going for the GMC straight off the bat. Now, you know, some folks might have a different strategy, um, you know, on how they would start the game and, and all of this good stuff. But if you guys, you know, have any suggestions or anything like that, you know, any tips or anything like that, you know, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Man. And you know, next time around, you know, we could. You know, probably apply set tips and tricks. You know, but for now, uh, my knowledge of the map and understanding of it, um, what I would like to do, I would like to get a GMC, repair the uh, fleet star because, come on, it's the fleet star, guys. Right? Um, I would like to have you know one workhorse, a service truck. And um, yeah, yeah. 
so we ain't for a lot of pain guys oh my goodness i can't believe i actually oh my goodness make a mess out of that but anyway it's no runner right so getting a little bit stuck here a little bit in some of the mud all right you know some folks <laughs> it's had a running joke you know they want to be snow runner the mud you know i had some uh um, bad question uh, ouch where's the snow but say what but anyway um so what i would uh do is that i would uh seek out all the watchtowers first and then seeking out the watchtowers uh pick up all the tasks from around the map so that you know when you have when you decide to start the whole task chasing or well completion session you know we already have all the tasks at hand so you know we would start off with the task well first all right so ouch yeah but I, I don't think i would make it to the i don't think i would make it to the gmc but anyway we'll try yeah guys so unlock all the watchtowers after unlocking the watchtowers we'll do infrastructure work but upon unlocking all the watchtowers i will pick up all the tasks in the process all right and um if upon picking up all the tasks in the process i would um then complete the infrastructure after i completed infrastructure we would um take start the task you know start with something light you know and then work our way up because we'd have to you know purchase tires and ouch oh my goodness i don't like this truck and yet still i just confess each and every day that i love this truck and apparently from you know my driving skills right now it clearly showed something else you know but anyway um what we'll do yeah so we'll com complete finish up all the tasks and then after move on to the um contract work yeah and from there well then you know we'll start to tackle all the contracts and whatnot you know so this is our first watch now right here again um I'm going on the knowledge of my of the map that I have right now. Listen, now, guys. So I had a problem with this game, and I just didn't know, you know, if it was a problem or if it was a bug. Well, if it was a bug, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so what happened is that I used to play this game with a wheel, with the wheel and the controller right connected at the same time uh the purpose of the controller used to just be for crane operation and shifting at the camera so like how i'm driving here now what i'll do i'll just pan the camera so that i can see and um you know move again and so on and so forth right but while i was doing that now suddenly the wheel would just lose Steering. I sometimes I would be turning and bam, I just lose all steering, and then after I would run off the side of uh, the road or something like that. And I used to always try to figure out why this used to be happening. I, I thought it was a bug, honestly, and um, didn't really think much of it, you know. I reported the bug. But I say, you know, it have more, you know, issues that the devs and them would want to take care of. A simple bug like that, you know, it might be. Until weekend, which is this weekend here. Um, I went on to the Discord and, you know, I was chatting with some guys who was there. And um, I explained my situation, right? And they was like... It will happen. It will happen. Now, if you disconnect the controller and use the wheel alone, problem solved. I was like, okay then. So basically what used to happen, guys, is that the game used to 
drop one control is either I drop the wheel or I drop the controller. It couldn't maintain the two, and I think that's still a problem up to now. So, folks, any of you using a wheel out there and having that issue, just use the wheel alone. Yes, it will be crappy. Yes, it would suck because what happened now? Since I'm using the wheel alone, I can't navigate the the map. Do you understand? I can't like pan up or down. You know, if I need to scroll the map, I'll have to actually click on all the stuff like that. That's how I would have to move on the map. I can't you know move any any other you know way on the map again this is this is how it is gonna be you understand this is how i could move around the map you know it, it's sad i mean to say it, it must have something in the future that you know they could do about it but as for now guys this is how i would have to navigate the map if you're using the wheel alone, if you're using controller alone, you know, you could do it. But on the wheel, and this is the G29 wheel, I don't have, you know, uh, a way of um, really panning the map on my own. You understand? So, yeah. So, with that, with that guys, you know, we just had to make the best out of it, right? I don't really, you know, have a problem or anything like that. But it is, it, it could, you know, it's something that should be added. But anyway, we have for adventure. So, let's get it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, right? I'm going to take this bad boy to the Chevy all the way back, right? To the, um, to the Chevy. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, to the Chevy, all the way back to the garage. All right. Now, to be honest with you guys, I don't really like this one. Right. So, but I will hold on to it. Usually, in all my other um, playthrough, I actually sell them off the back. Yeah. But with this one, I'll keep it because. See, not being hard mode, you never know what could happen. You, you know, you never know what could happen. Anything could happen. You know, so though it might seem, you know, to me it might seem as a good idea to sell them, I would keep them. All right. Um, I could always use, you know, the truck as a, a utility truck. You know, just to move around the map get parts, refuel vehicles that might, you know, go out of fuel and whatnot. So, yeah. We'll hold on to him and, um, you, could, you know, I could always leave him back on uh, Black River. We could always have a truck on Black River. You know? Because you have to pay for your vehicles that you're going to redeploy, right? And I mean to say, you know, you might purchase a vehicle, you might, you know, you would discover other vehicles and whatnot and I mean to say when you're moving you would have to be you know like selective on what you're moving with right and or what you're moving in the first place so this one this truck looks like it would I would leave it here until you know we get enough money to if and if we have use for it you know then move it and whatnot but as for now we leave him here. Um, I'll repair the fleet stack, right? And um, but I will use this to, you know, do all the. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I wonder if I turn on the engine in that moment if it would have um, slowed from you know running into me. But um, yeah, guys. So. That's the plan as well, as far as concerning the um, this GNC here. Yeah. You know, and the reason why I really am um, bringing him out this early is because I want to replay the feed stuff. And it happened, we have a service trailer right there in the garage, parking lot, right? And, you know, might as well use them because, I mean, to say you have 
you know we have we have resources lying around why not use it right why not put it to good use or you know because you can't sell the trailer right you can't sell the trailer we can't get any money from you know selling off all the trailers that have lying around so we might as well you know put them to good use and, and the good thing about it right we have trailers lying around the map that we could pick up we could just park all of the garage and you know keep you know kind of like you know keep a nice lid on yard and whatnot you know so that's the one good thing i would say you know and then and then to you have trailers at the school right? you're finding them out in the world you know you wouldn't you know just sell them off because they don't get any money and and they could be a part of your fleet so no the next thing i would have liked though is we could have uh, moved it all trailers you understand because it have certain trailers that i know oh my goodness and how and why did that happen back this bad boy up now um so yeah guys i actually switch in the camera with my directional pad oh my goodness i can't believe i can't believe i actually do that oh my goodness wow uh noob moments guys <laughs> no mind you i'm not gonna edit all the goofy moments or all the crazy moments out of it you know i mean really fun in that man you know it's adventure we seek it you know what I mean? so anyway so yeah so the plan right now is to get the fleet start up and running uh this is the best way that i you know come to mind right um, because you know see now we have to pay for so nearly everything now and nothing is free yeah and we can't make a ton of money easily we had to manage everything now you know might as well you know use this um trailer to fix up the fleet star because i mean to say if i could have done it would be no i'm not sure i never really tried that but if i could um have done it with the chevy you know like winch the chevy and pull the chevy onto you know and then after try to i never tried to be honest with you but we could try it now you know see if we could get like the trailer next to the arm um, so if you guys ever decide to start hard mode you know you wouldn't have to go all the way for the gmc you could just like winch the chevy and then i never tried so you know i wouldn't know but um attach trailer all right nice 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 So that's the purpose of really bringing on the Chevy guys. Alright, so. Get upgrade. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, we're gonna change the truck. Uh, let me see. Alright, so. You only get any option to refuel. Recover. Alright. We're not going to refuel it. Um, let me try one more thing again. No, I just trying it. Eh? No, you know. All right, all right. So, see, not that no, it no pop up. We're gonna change the truck one more time to see if we'll get the option to. All right, so we're not getting the option to repair. So, which mean if you had taken the Chevy when she trailer and pull it. We might now got the option to repair. So anyway, um, going back into the GMC. Now I never really tried to do anything like that, so that is why I actually did try it on, um, you know, on the video here to see if it could be done, right? You know, mid busting a little bit and all too. All right, so we're gonna repair Mr. Fleetstar. All right. Um, nope. We don't need to repair the GMC, all right. We have, we have. Luckily, we have eight wheels, right? Uh, gas tank, engine, full shebang. This this guy need the full shebang. One eighty, 
boom bang bang let we go we have a up and running fleet star uh, what I would do now I would refuel the fleet star I would give him no 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 you know what I need to actually bring the trailer to the um the fuel trailer to the to the yard or I could simply just you know give the fleet star majority of the trailer all right I know what I'll do all right so we're gonna refuel the fleet star um source would be the other way around all right so I'm gonna dump yeah that amount and the fleet star going on the maiden voyage guys so we're gonna change the truck we head into the fleet star nice all right so Gonna, I'm gonna grab the fuel trailer and bring it to the garage so you know that way you know it would be easy to refuel every and anybody all right man this year this right here this is my work course honestly speaking oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> so much for you know looking good but yeah this here this is my work course this is the truck that you know gonna be making all that money. Now I'm supposed to be taking care of my truck, right? Now I'm mashing up all the spring and shocks and all kind of thing. I just, I just, I just super happy that you know I actually get the fleet star up and running because I know how much I love this truck, you know. So yeah. So again, guys, if you have any questions, you know, or comments or anything you know feel free feel free you know to leave them in the comment section once again you know all right so we're gonna grab this trailer carry him back to the garage right we're just organizing right now this is you know like the prep i would accept this task here see that you know it's a task and again i am going with the, you know the knowledge that i have off the map so is um, it's only right that you know I actually bring this fuel trailer to the garage because I don't wanna you know oh my goodness I don't want to always have to run you know everything would be more or less centralized basically you understand so yeah we're gonna attach trailer here now nice we have a full fuel full trailer of a few earlier guys so you know can't go wrong all right so we're heading out and the good thing is this have a deflock on it already so i mean to say if you go in off-roading yeah and the flock always coming in hand you know what i mean all right take off the start the flock Boy, power the fleet star, guys. The power of the fleet star, feeling it already. You know, I wish it had like a he man sticker we could stick on the truck. I have the power. <laughs> yeah, hey, a nice little throwback moment there, guys. But anyway, anyway, um, I would, um, as soon as you know we get this back to the garage and whatnot um let's see if um well the next the next step is to maybe outfit it and um you know set it up as you go because i might use the sideboard from the, the sideboard trailer from the truck from the gmc now to be honest with you guys i'm not a huge fan of it right i'm not a huge fan of it but We'd see, we'd see. I, I haven't gone to any bad experience when it comes to, you know, the sideboard. But, you know, see what. But, be, but honestly speaking, between the, ooh, between the sideboard and that, guys, I prefer the uh, sideboard. So, 
Alright, so with that, um, we'll have this um, trailer right here to refuel all the vehicles and whatnot, guys. And uh, yeah, and with that, this is where we we'll call it a video. I mean, to say it is not a spectacular start, you know, we're just organizing, you know, calling in the troops, calling in the troops, man, you know, and um, yeah. Um, so in the next video, we'll end back on, you know, all the, unlocking all the watchtowers and, and whatnot and, you know, picking up all the upgrades and we'll have the wool course and then we'll have the service truck. So in all and all, you know, that's the, that's the basic, the basic gist of it, you know, and backing on the adventure. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for you know coming and checking out the video again if you have any suggestions um leave them in the comment section or if you like the content feel free and all to you know let me know your thoughts in the comment section and as always and usual guys you like the video hit that like button you want to keep up to date with the content and everything hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell guys and you know Again, you can check me out. I live stream over on Twitch Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. EST to 3 p.m. EST. And um, you can, you know, check out all my socials and everything is in the link description at the bottom. So you can check that out. And yeah, let me let me know what you guys think about it, man. But as it is, hard mode, snow runner, start from scratch, Black River all the way up. And guys, again, happy trucking, stay safe. Definitely looking to forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.